Hello, um, I'm going to teach you how to make clothing. This is your advanced clothing video part one. I'm already an editor. I picked a long tight fit. The first fit we are going to do is going to be a casual mini. I'm going to remove my sleeves by putting black. Just a, um, a little black square. Apply changes. Room removes those. I am going to um, bring up the underwear that we made in our basic class. This is your minimum guidelines underwear. And what I'm going to do is take black paint, a large brush, and remove the straps off of this fit. We're going to change our dress. straps and then I am going to um, take this free this is a free select tool and I'm just going to curve around the bra come down a curve and come down just past the underwear and go up to the middle and connect those dots and then I'm going to fill that with white and then I'm going to transform horizontally copy it undo my flip and paste and match that up to the other side zoom make sure that it's matched I believe that's right Let's move it over just a tad to save that as my mini dress opacity and I'm going to well first hmm I don't believe it matched at the bottom you can check from the bottom sure that it matches at the bottom. Okay, so that should be seamless. <coughs> and then I'll just take this and fill it with white so that that isn't showing. And clean up the bottom part with black. And then take some white paint and go over the edges of the sides. Make sure that those are, there's no gray. But just to check, I'm going to save it again and put it on and see. For now, um, we'll be making a pair of different underwear, but for now I'm just going to place a pair of underwear on there so that I can see what the fit looks like. And that was my mini dress opacity. Make sure that the, um, that the cleavage point is in the right spot and it appears to be so and it is seamless in the back okay well that looks good to me I think I'll make it just a little bit shorter I want it to be a mini dress so I will add a little more black and save it and see how short that is If you want it even shorter than that, that's fine. That's up to you. But now we're going to take our dress and we are going to blur with your blur tool. Make sure it's on blur. Take a small brush and 
just clean those edges up just just a tad just go all around it once it gives it a nice soft appearance to take my um, rectangle select and I'm going to cut just a tiny, tiny little piece out. So I'm going to copy and paste that, move it over, and I'm going to rotate it with my rotate tool. Rotate it, move it, And so I don't think it was big enough. It looks great to me when I rotate it, so I'm going to make a little bit bigger one. Just add it that small, so I'll make it just a little bigger. And I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste that. I rotate it again. Let's hit my move tool. <coughs> Make sure that you, your slides are all the way over so that you can get it in there. I'm going to copy it again and paste. And paste. And we're going to make a little lattice effect. Um, maybe I'll make another one here. And then I'm going to transform horizontally. Copy. Undo my flip and paste. take my black paint and erase some of these top lines. We don't need all of that. Take my free select tool and connect those and fill with white and do it to each one. What you're doing is you're just making a little design for your back. I like sexy backs. Okay. Okay. Now um, you can just cut that out. Flip it, copy it, undo your flip, and paste, and then move it over to the side. And then you have a little bit of a, of a sexy back there. You could add straps to it, or anything else that you want. Now. Um, what I'm going to do to this is I'm just going to duplicate this and on one of them I'm going to erase all this by filling it with black and that one I'm going to name my mini dress skirt JPG. Set that to the side. And then I'm going to um, bring up my underwear that we previously made. And I'm copying that and pasting it to my dress. And I'll show you why in a minute. 
Copy that to the bottom, get it perfect. Okay. Now on this, if you want, you can fill that in. Make a corset. That's fine. And then I am going to zoom it up. And right here under the breast. Fill that with gray, transform it, flip it horizontally, copy it, undo the flip, and paste. So I made a little diamond. Put those right next to each other. And then go back over it again and clean that up. And fill it with gray again. Okay, that one, we can just save that as our mini dress opacity. It's going to be your underwear, just remember that, or you can name it your mini dress underwear. Okay, so on my underwear, I'll put my mini dress underwear, or mini dress opacity. And apply changes to that. And then on the dress one, on that opacity, I'm going to put my mini dress skirt. And you can see that you get this little see-through effect with the gray. And I put that in my, um, in my underwear so that it doesn't affect the dress when I am looking through a window or under lights. On my skirt, I want it to be two sided. Okay, now I'm going to bring up my texture. Um, you already know how to make a, a seamless texture, so I'm not going to show you how to do it. I'm just going to bring mine up. But what I'm going to show you is an easy way to decorate a dress using your um, opacity. I'm going to take my free select tool again and I'm going to outline and I don't want to go into any of the white or gray area. I just want to go right outside of it to the top and all the way over and then connect that dot down here at the bottom and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste that onto my texture take my move tool and slide it up zoom to 400 and I'm going to put that in there and then I, I'm going to take my skirt and do the same thing on the bottom. I'm going to cut that black out and I'm going to copy that and paste that also on there and move that all the way to the bottom of my texture. Use my slides and put that in perfect. And what I end up with here is the shape of my dress so that I have a guide. I'm going to save that as my mini dress texture. And we will use both of these on the underwear and on the um, skirt. Okay, now to decorate this, I will use my um, I'll use my fit here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my free select again, and I'm going to go underneath 
the white just edged a little bit. I can just do one side and just to make sure you get all of that white in there and then connect it. And then I'm going to take my blending tool, which is here. I already have it on gold, just to show you there's different blends. But I'm going to use the gold. And what I'm going to do is just add a blend and it turned that gold. And I'm going to copy that and paste it. And since I already know, where my middle is and everything, I can just zoom this up and go just right there. Go to the edge and transform it, flip it, copy, undo my flip and paste. And over here you can make sure that you get it to the edge. Now you can anchor that and because this isn't really pretty, what we can do is just cut out a piece and copy and paste and stick it in there and then get a little more texture right there. Okay. And if you want, it's not going to show up that much. It's just going to be a little edge. But if you want, you can take your blur tool and blur but it's not really going to affect it much. Okay, now, um, the bottom of your skirt, we're going to take our rectangle select, and we're going to do the same thing. And just in the middle right here, we're going to add another piece of gold. Okay, now on the top, What I want you to do is, is outline this but zoom it way up to 800. I don't want you to click that dot just on the outside of it and then come out and go around Do the same thing, and I know there's a little spot here, but we're going to fix that. And do the same thing from the top to the bottom. Copy that, and paste that in. Now, you can zoom it up and try to get it in the right spot. So, we'll try that and see if that works, and then it, we'll fix that little edge in a second. save that as your new dress texture. Now over here you're going to put them in both of the textures in your underwear part and in your skirt. And apply changes. And it's perfect just about, maybe just a tad bit more there and fix that. So, we're going to go over here and I'm going to anchor that so that I can play with it. And I'm going to take my free select tool and I'm going to cut that back out. Copy it and paste it. Move it up so that you get that diamond edge. And then I'm going to paste another piece right inside of it a little because we um, had a little edge. Hmm. Okay, let's see what that looks like. show in the underwear. <coughs>
Let's check. I don't see any red on the underwear. So it would be a GA fit. As far as the underwear is concerned, we're going to look at the bra. And I don't see any red there either. Okay. So what we're going to do now is put a lady on. Just dress her up a little bit. I can um, take that hair off so you can see better. Do a short hairdo so that you can see the fit better. Okay. Now this is a pretty fit as it is, but we're going to um, put some highlights on it. So what I want you to do is anchor that. You can anchor by layer and anchor, or you can click your um, rectangle select and click outside of whatever's highlighted, and it will anchor it. <coughs> I want you to go to layer and click a new layer. And that puts a transparent layer over the top of your fit. Now I want you to select a white paint. Um, on your paintbrush, I want you to pick this large fuzzy brush. Now um, up here on the breast, I want you to make a dot and then another one on the other side and go to blur, Gaussian blur and let's see, that might be too white. So let's go up to 24. Okay, that looks fine. Save that. and see if you got those at the right spot. And it makes a a little breast highlight. You want to put that in the um, top one, the underwear one. So, mini dress texture. Open it, apply it, and see if that highlight, yep, see that highlights on your breast. And I can go into a pose so you can see. Okay, the highlights on the breast. Now we want to make a curve underneath the breast. So I'm going to make another layer. I'm going to select black paint. And this time I'm going to select a fuzzy brush that's a bit smaller. And I am going to make a curve around my breast. And Gaussian blur it. Save. And that curve just went right underneath that. Mini dress texture again. And apply the changes and see if that, see it's just a little slight, just a little slight curve. Gives you a little 3D effect. Now, go back and make another layer. Click your white paint, get that bigger fuzzy brush again. And we're going to try to gauge how far the buttocks are. So let's just see if that's right. And Gaussian blur again. We want to see. I'm going to blur these up a bit more. I'm going to go to 30 and save that. Make sure that's in your um, skirt part in the texture. And we're going to see if it's right. And you might want to lighten it or darken it. It's up to you. I think I'm going to lighten mine up. And an easy way to do that is to take your layer box over here and just lessen your opacity a bit. I like a subtle highlight on the butt. Now I'm going to add a, another layer and select my black paint, a smaller brush again, and underneath that I am going to draw a curve around my butt, buttocks and Gaussian blur that again and save it and see what that looks like. Let's 
gives you a little bit of a of a um a shadow under the buttock. And this is to taste. It, it do, you don't have to do this. It's just if you want to. Now on the front, I'm going to add another layer. And I'm going to use my white again. Now, this you want this to be very tiny. As tiny as you can get it. Fill it with white. Copy. Paste and slide this over and match it up where the other one was. Anchor that, Gaussian blur it, and that gives you a little bit of a highlight on your thighs. If it's too dark for you, you can always do the same thing. You can go to your layers and you can take that opacity down a bit and just resave it and see if that works better for you. your first fit in the advanced class. Oh, I wanted to show you. On your dress, make sure it's two-sided. Do not have your blending checked. And you may want to go down a little bit further down here with some gold, but that's up to you if it matters to you. Thank you very much.